Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get embed code from Amazon S3 and use that on your WordPress site. And we're gonna do this for a PDF, for a piece of audio, and a short video. And you're gonna be surprised at how simple it is. I said earlier, embed code with air quotes. It, there isn't really a lot of embed code that you need if you're running the latest versions of WordPress because it's very simple to do. All you need is the link. Right now, we're looking at my demo bucket inside of Amazon S3, and these are the three files we're gonna use. Um, we have the short PDF, which is a PDF about determining whether your site has been hacked or not, which is a PDF you should definitely go and download on my website. Then we have a short audio, a short video. These three files have just been uploaded, nothing has been changed with them, because there are some things that you need to change that I'm gonna show you right now. We click on the box beside any of the uploads. We have to do the same thing to all three. Up in the top right, we have three tabs. We want to click on the Properties tab. And on this tab, there's some details at the top, including the URL, which we're going to copy in a minute. But we want to make sure this Permissions tab is open. You might see it like this. Click on Permissions to open it. Click on Add More Permissions. For Grantee, we want to choose Everyone. We want to check open slash download and then save. If you don't do this and you just have, instead of having my username in this slot, you will likely have your username for your Amazon account. If we don't add the everyone permission, then only you will be allowed to download that material, which defeats the purpose of having it on your website. And under the grantee, there's a bunch of other permissions you could have. But I choose everyone because the, the PDFs and videos I create, they're for everyone. And once that is set, you can then copy this URL and put it into your WordPress site. But first, we're going to go through every one of these. We're going to add these permissions. I'm going to just fast forward. You don't have to watch me add all these. Okay, so now we've added permissions for everyone, every one of these files. And what we're going to do next is copy these URLs and put them into a page on my WordPress site, on the demo site, just to show you how it works. So we're in the dashboard, I'm just gonna add a new post, create a new one, call it Amazon S3 testing. And we have a PDF, we have an audio, and we have a video. I'm just adding that text so we can identify where stuff is when we look at the live page. For the PDF, we have to have a link you don't have to, I guess you could just paste the URL in here, but I like to have an anchor text for the link. So we pasted that, or copied that URL from Amazon. I just pasted it right in here for the URL. And for the audio, we go back to Amazon and click the box beside short audio, make sure it's the only one selected. Copy the URL up here, and then we just paste that right into our WordPress post. And we make sure that it has its own line. We don't put it on a line with something else. It has its own line. And we just paste it in. And when this page renders, WordPress will identify that as being audio and will automatically embed it in an audio player, which is pretty awesome. Get the video file. Copy the URL for the video. And same thing. The video has to be on its own line, the URL but we don't need to add any other embed code. WordPress will do that automatically on the back end. So we're gonna click on publish and then view the post. And all of those things should be appearing and functional when we load the page. So let's look at that live post, scroll down a bit. Here we have the, the link for the PDF download. I'm gonna click on that just to make sure the PDF loads. And there it is. Go back to the post. Here is the audio player that's been embedded. If we click on play, you'll probably hear me in the background a bit. But that audio plays, which is great. And we're, we have the embed code automatically added for the video as well. We click on play for that. And that works too. I'm just gonna quickly show you what it looks like if you didn't set that permission properly inside of Amazon. So if we go back to our Amazon console, and I'm just gonna do this for the video. So I've got the video selected right now. And this everyone grantee permission right here, I'm gonna click on the X to the right. 
and I click on Save. And if we go back to our website and refresh this page, we see that the audio still loads as it should. But for the video, it says error loading this resource and there's no video. Because everyone includes everyone on the internet. So we have to have everyone set for a video to be playable on your website. So if we go back here, we add the permission for everyone. Click on save. Go back to our site, refresh this page. And now the video will load and play as it did a few moments ago. So in this video, we learned how to embed various types of media from Amazon S3 into your WordPress site. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass, WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more awesome videos just like this, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.